Hi, Algebra 1. In Lesson 3 here, we're going to continue using function notation and keep interpreting what it means. Here we go. Here we have a graph that is showing the height of a drone off the ground in, at certain times. And we are looking at function notation, deciding which function value is greater. So in number 1, f of 0 is referring to the function at time 0. And f of 4 is referring to where the function is at four seconds. So which one is greater? In this case, it's f of four, because at four seconds, it's going to be this many meters off the ground. Looks like four. I've color coded numbers two and three. In number two, f of two and f of five are at the same height. And in number three, um, f of three is going to be higher than f of seven. And then number four, f of t is just talking about at any time in seconds. And then f of t plus 1 just means the next second. And so I said it depends because in this part, the next second is higher. In this part, the next second coming after it is the same. And in this part, the next second coming after is lower. In our next activity called smartphones, the function p is going to give the number of people in millions who own a smartphone t years after the year 2000. So in number 1, this function notation is telling us that 17 years after the year 2000, so that's in 2017, this many million people, so you'd have to add million on the end here, owned a smartphone. In B, P of negative 10, so that means 10 years before the year 2000, zero people owned a smartphone. In number two, now we're going to use function notation. So A says in 2010, so we're still talking about the function P. So P of 2010 would be 10 years after the year 2000. The number of people who owned a smartphone was this many million. So we're going to say 296.6 million. In 2015, so it would be P of 15, about 1.86 billion people owned a smartphone. So that's this number written out, but we just want how many million that is. So it's going to be 1,860 million. So from part A, we know that in 2017, 2,320 million people owned a smartphone. And in 1990, 10 years before, zero people owned a smartphone. So here is plotting our other two points at 2010 and 2015. Now when we're um, connecting the line here, I would make this a curved line. Um, you know, we know that not everything is like perfectly straight lines, but it might end up looking something like that. Now we have May. She's curious about the value of t in p of t equals 1,000. So what this is saying is in how many years after the year 2000 did a thousand million or a billion people own a cell phone? And so I'm looking at my graph as to where we hit a thousand, and that would be here. And mine looks like it's at almost 13 years. So T here would be like 12.8 maybe. And then that means that in 2012, um, between 2012 and 2013 is when a billion people now had a cell phone. Is four a possible value of T here? Um, well, not in this case, because at four, it definitely does not look like we're going to be at a billion people having a cell phone. 